I start off uh, transferring my drawing over with white transfer paper to the black Strathmore paper that I've got underneath. Just using a standard pencil and then I rub out most of the marks with a kneadable eraser just so that I've only got very faint outlines. Here I've got a Derwent charcoal block in my left hand, white, and I'm using a quite hard stump to rub it on top of the block and then I'm using that to draw with rather than a charcoal pencil at this stage. And that's allowing me to put subtle marks on there. Here I'm doing the same process with a larger stump and I'm just blocking in that white layer of feathers. This will be the under layer of feathers and I'll build up details on top with pencils. So this is just giving me all that shape and form and a nice, a nice map to follow. The important part about this drawing, and the part that brought me to the photograph is the severe and very strong backlight and very dramatic. So here I'm using quite a soft charcoal pencil. It's a generals one. And I use the generals if I want the, the charcoal to stay in place. It doesn't blend as much as a um, Derwent charcoal or a pit pastel pencil. So if I want those marks to stay, I generally use the general type pencil. Softening it again with the stump every now and again. And using the residue of the charcoal to put in the, the smaller highlights and the more subtle marks. Here I'm using a dark pencil, a black charcoal from the general range. I'm putting in that very extreme highlight on the edge of the feathers. softening again with the stump and I'm using that white paper to protect the surface underneath my hand so that I'm not smudging it. Building up the layers making them more opaque and more white as time goes on and then blending again as I push that charcoal into the paper. So it really is working from a dark the paper being the darkest dark and then I'm gradually getting lighter and lighter with my marks, with my pencil marks. Using a small stump for the smaller, more detailed areas. And a large soft stump if I really want to blur those marks out. Re-establishing the darkest darks with the charcoal black pencil. And gradually bringing up the lightest lights. Cleaning up the surface with a kneadable eraser. And softening the the areas that need to really be pushed back and subdued. At the very end of the, the drawing I use a little bit of, of designer's gouache just to bring out the highlights, just to bring out those whitest white parts. And that's it right at the very end of the drawing just punching out those real highlights and the extreme backlight in. And that brings the drawing to a close. And here's the finished drawing. Hope you've enjoyed this short video. If so, you may like to go over to my website, jasonmorgan.co.uk. There I've got lots of full length feature videos on techniques and tips. I've got eBooks. I got 800 reference photos all with the new Easy Trace line art and so much more. So that's jasonmorgan.co.uk. Also on YouTube every Friday, I've got Free Photo Friday. Every Thursday, I'm doing art book reviews. And every Tuesday, it's tips and also art product reviews. So don't forget to come back soon.